Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to use keyframes in CupCut PC. So this is going to be a very easy one. You just need to follow the steps that I'll be showing you how to utilize the keyframes on CupCut. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to open up the CupCut application. In here, you want to create a new project. And here we want to add or import our assets that we want to edit. So let's just find an asset we can actually use for this one. So I'm just going to go my, to my downloads here and drag in a video. So here we have our assets. We now want to add this video here into our timeline. So as usual, when you actually click on your timeline here, you won't be able to see the edit or settings to actually edit your video here or add effects for it. So here you just want to click on the video itself and from here you'll be able to see the video speed animation adjustments and as long as well as the settings here that you could actually adjust. So by default we could actually edit this video here like if you want to change the scale for this one you can basically just scale it here. So that's the usual way or the default way of interacting with settings here on CupCut. So if you might, if you notice, there's like this diamond icon that you see at the right side of your settings here. Well, this is actually the keyframes. So by default or by definition, keyframes are actually events that are that are actually happening in our timeline right now. So if you see a keyframe here on your timeline, that means there's something or supposedly something should happen in that specific keyframe. So let's go ahead and add our keyframe here. So for you to add a keyframe, just click on the keyframe icon here that says add keyframe. And from here, you will be able to add your keyframes. So as you can see, I just click on it and a keyframe appeared here. So when we actually adjust this one, like for example here, it's going to automatically add or edit that keyframe there. So now if we have multiple keyframes there, it's going to actually interact with each other with the video changing in our scene here. So let's go ahead and increase this one to a certain range. And when we actually play our video, you will see the changes happening real time on our video. So that's how you basically use keyframes here. So if you're wondering, yeah, it's for one effect here, but how do we actually use this together with different effects here? Like for example, you want to change the position and rotation here. Well, you could actually interact with those here at the same time. So let's just go to the to our keyframe here. We just want to add another keyframe on that specific effect or editing or certain element of that video itself. Like for example, you want to change the X axis for this one. So go ahead and add a keyframe here and you'll be able to change the position. So for example, we want to position to be around 300. And from here, we want to go to our very first keyframe at the beginning here. And we want to change this to zero. So when we actually play this one, you will see the changes happening on our screen real time. So this is the default. This is the first keyframe and then the second keyframe finally ending our scene here. So by default, that's basically how keyframes work here. You can just basically play around with the settings that you see here on the top right of our screen. Uh, you could also actually apply this on different settings here. Like for example, you could also apply this on mask. So when you click on any mask here, you'll be able to see the keyframe uh, setting here or feature here. And basically from there, you can just adjust your video to whatever look you want it to have. And yeah, so I just have to warn you sometimes keyframes aren't available on some effects or settings here like for example for enhance you won't have the keyframe available here so there are times keyframes are not available but basically for basic and mass you could use keyframes for that so if you're wondering how could you actually navigate into your keyframes here on your timeline well as you can see when we go to our scene here you'll be able to see uh arrows next to the keyframe itself so when we actually click on it it's actually going to go to our keyframe there so we go to left again you'll be able to go to that other other keyframe and basically you just need to click on left or right 
here to just navigate between your keyframes this is the easiest way that we can do right now to navigate around our keyframes so for you to delete your keyframes just need to select that keyframe and just press on your backspace on your keyboard and that would actually delete your keyframe and that basically that's it you can actually also actually also apply this on text you just need to add your text here and let's just add this one real quickly and let's go ahead and click this one and from here, you'll be able to see the keyframe or add keyframe button here. So anything or any setting that you'll see the add keyframe, you'll be able to use this on CupCut or in your project. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.